Coming in with a Lalo. Ooh, a Blizzard Lalo. Now he sends the blimp early. Oh, two seeking air mines. <gasps> Did stars just get baited? No. Wow. Tiki with the OP bait. He doesn't get the eagle. I, I'm pretty sure. Ooh, and the late invisibility. Rip Queen Walkers. Whatever, everybody. Thanks for watching another video. Remember to smash that like button. Hit subscribe if you want to help out the channel grow. And don't forget to leave awesome comments down below to help the YouTube algorithm promote my video to other people like this, that, or this one right here. And make sure to use code Lexnos in game before you make any purchases in the in game store to help me out. Thank you so much for watching and let's jump into the video. Here we go with the grand finals of the LIC tournament, guys. $500 on the line, and we've got RTK versus queen walkers guys two legendary clans and remember this is going to be a best of two today we're watching match number one right now and let's see what rtk can do coming in with the first attack of the war looks like it's going to be a sui lalo here we're sending king and queen into this town hall chamber with a little wall breaking action rc over here at nine o'clock we're pulling those clan castle troops pretty classic headhunter goblin super minion cc here RC is going to get hit pretty hard by this headhunter. Ooh, she gets slowed down. Did she even get the ability off? Eh, yeah. Oh, she already used her ability earlier. That's why. Queen can take out those super minions, or the poison really does. Nice poison right there. Bowler on the bottom side. Help to make out a little bit of a funnel. Pretty decent Sui value. He's going to start with the stone slammer now on the bottom side of the base, including the Lalo with the ice hound right away. I like it. Normal Hound on the right side. Loons to support. Warden with the initial group. He still has a ton of spells, guys. This wasn't a Zap Lalo. It wasn't a Blizzard Lalo. It was a straight up normal Sui Lalo, which means he has at least 69 spells to use for the Loons here. Another uh, Lava Hound with Loons and Haste on the 3 o'clock side to help collapse the main group into the core where he can Rage, he can Freeze, he can pop a Skeleton spell, and another Freeze to help take out everything in the core as we push into the last section of the base with one more haste still to use all the splash is dead if we can get through that queen it's looking good he still has the warden ability has to pop the warden ability because queen actually locks onto the warden he probably should have used that warden ability earlier while there are still skeletons alive there actually are still skeletons alive but they switched over to the king nice but it's all right he's got 38 balloons even though he only started with 30 and they're gonna be able to take out the queen a minute over a minute on the clock to do cleanup and a swag haste that he drops right on top of Queen Walker's clan castle. The disrespect from RTK to start off the war against Queen Walker's and they get a nice triple to start it off. Stadra is in with the first attack for Queen Walker's and let's see what he's bringing coming in with the super witches. Would you expect anything else from Stadra? He loves these super witches. Giant and, and I said King, Giant and Warden down at six o'clock right here to start us off. Is he going to try to warden walk this town hall? That'd be pretty cool if he does. The minions to help the warden on the left side of six o'clock. Here we go. They're going to be able to help grab that trash building and the elixir collector, right? Yep. They can reach the elixir collector outside the range of that archer tower. Warden's going to step up for the air defense, then for the barracks. Gold storage should be next. And I think he is going to try to warden walk this town hall. Might have to invest a rage here. In fact, I'm pretty sure he will. One balloon to help take out that mourner just to speed up this warden walk a little bit more. The warden goes straight for that town hall. Boom. Nice little rage right there. Now this is taking quite a bit of time. All right. By the time this town hall goes down, there's only going to be like two minutes left. He's going to funnel at three o'clock. So I'm guessing we're going to send the super witches into the scattershot compartment here any second now. Boom. Town hall's down. Here he goes with the super witches. Wall breaker is successful. Baby dragon has done a nice job making a funnel over at three o'clock. Super Witches are going in. We still have King and Siege Barracks to use. He drops the King and Siege Barracks together at 3 o'clock. Baby Dragon finishes off that funnel. Queen goes in. Now the Warden and Super Witches kind of got stuck on the King here. Warden took some weird pathing, stepped inside the walls, and now the Ground Expo targets him, and the healers are not switching. Where are they? He freezes the Expo to try and get it to switch off of the Warden. Had to pop the Queen ability super early because she doesn't have healers on her. She's going to die unless he pops the Warden right now. Smart move right there, popping the Warden early to save that Queen. He wall breaks the King on the top side of the base in order to help clear out the Eagle Artillery. That was actually a really smart move there. We finally pop the Lava Hound in the core. Troops are making their way through that jump spell. Warden is still taking some weird pathing. 
and not staying behind the troops, which I don't like. One more rage in the core. We got an invisibility and a freeze that we're likely going to see being used on the RC. Maybe the queen. Luckily, the healer switched to the queen and she's still alive. Just hanging on. King and Pecker on the top side are doing a nice job making a funnel. RC grabs all these buildings, including the Tesla farm on the bottom side. He is going to drop that invisibility spell to keep that queen alive so she can get through the expo. Now we need to freeze to keep the RC alive. He doesn't. He keeps the freeze. He says, I don't need the RC anyway. I got 78 troops alive over here at 9 o'clock. I'll save the freeze for swag because they swagged on our base. Queen's going to beat through a wall. Grab the cannon. Grab the air defense. 28 seconds left. Is this going to be close on time? I think time's the only thing that could stop it. He freezes on the bottom side. Keep that wizard alive just a little bit longer. Drops another wizard. Can they get through the archer tower in time? They can. <gasps> He's got it. 15 seconds. 96% and climbing. Boom. Plenty of super witches alive. Stadra from Queen Walkers. OP. What a banger of an attack to start off the war for Queen Walkers. And now it's all tied up. Three to three. Tiki from RTK with the next attack of the war coming in with the P.E.K.K.A. smash. Here we go with the early warden walk up at 12 o'clock. Let's see which side he's going to enter from the right or the left. Hmm. Warden's going to snipe several buildings here on the top side. Eventually make his way over to this air defense and the archer tower, which I believe is what he wants to get with the warden walk. Interesting base from Stodger here with a huge core in the middle with two Inferno Towers and an Eagle Artillery. We have to wait and see which side he wants to enter the base from. Possibly the top left and finish on the Town Hall? Nope. That would be way too risky. Instead he's going to funnel on the right side with King and Siege Barracks. Enter from the 2 o'clock side. Now that the Warden has made the funnel he can drop everybody. Here we go. All the Peckers are in. Queen, Ice Golem in front to tank and the Bowlers to support behind. King's going to knock out that air defense. Witches over here at 3 o'clock. He actually still has the siege barracks. He just used the witches to help funnel so far. I'm uh, going to save this warden ability for going into the town hall compartment here. Jump spell gives him access to everything. Queen gets locked onto by the single. There's three ice golems in the CC, which is actually probably a really good defensive CC against his attack. This is just going to stall up all of his P.E.K.K.A.s here for like a solid 15 seconds. Boom, they're going to get keep getting frozen over and over again. Luckily, the queen actually didn't get frozen there. So she can kill the RC and the first single. We pop the king ability. He already got targeted by the second single, so he's going to go down. Healers are on the queen, which is nice. Scattershot locks on the healers. Are they going to switch off? Yes, they do. Nice. We got hogs from the siege barracks on the bottom side. Still have an RC to use. This is looking crushed, or am I crazy? Two scatter shots on the back end could be devastating. Queen pops her ability. Scatter shot switches targets to the warden. Gonna kill the warden. Queen can grab the inferno tower. Finds the tornado trap. We pop a rage. The last rage right there for her. She needs to shoot that scatter. Come on, queen. Before your healers die, shoot the scatter. Jeez, finally she shoots it. All the healers are dead. Tesla farm on the bottom side could save the defense. Queen grabs the other scatter. RC pops her ability gets most of the Teslas down. This is going to be close with three witches alive though. Can he get it with the RC? I think he does. No more splash except for the mortars, but RC is going to grab that one. Hello, giant bomb. Kills one of our witches, damages the other two. Queen's distracting the cannon and the archer towers, which is going to allow the RC to step up and get some of these point defenses. Oh, it's going to be close. I think he gets it. Down goes the cannon. Archer Tower kills the RC, 25 seconds, 95%. I think he gets it, guys. The Mortar can't keep up with all these skellies. Three wizards behind. Down goes the Archer Tower. Tiki from RTK. I want to say that was a close attack, but it doesn't matter. He's got enough time to get it. And boom, another triple on the board for RTK. Yaku with the next attack for Queen Walkers. And let's see if they can keep up with RTK with another triple here. Imagine saying, let's see if Queen Walkers can keep up with another team. Whew. RTK is having a good showing so far. Gaku with the early wall breaker at nine o'clock. He's coming in with his classic hybrid. This is Gaku's go-to army. We see him use it all the time. Queen's gonna charge straight into the scatter shot, kill the enemy king, kill the enemy queen nice and early. And let's see what his plan is. He still has two more wall breakers to use. Still has yet to drop a first rage. There goes the first rage. Keep Queen nice and healthy as we're about to encounter the enemy king. Perfectly timed headhunter, of course. We find a skelly trap. Queen can take that out. No problem whatsoever. Headhunter finds two spring traps. Hello, sir. He went flying. Queen's going to deal with two of these storages. Eventually make her way up to the queen, it looks like, if the path thing 
Yeah, she's definitely going to kill the queen like right now. Thanks to that second rage. And then which way does she go? I think she goes up. Yep, she does go up indeed. She'll be able to pull the CC once she steps up for the Builder Hut, I believe. There goes the CC troops. She's going to beat on a wall too. That's going to be interesting if she does that. He has one more rage and I think he has to use it right now. He does indeed as she starts dropping a lot of HP because of that scatter shot. We're going to start the hybrid from the top side of the base. King and Siege Barracks on the outside to funnel. Queen will be able to take out this Hound and Lava Pups in about two and a half weeks. But eventually she'll get through it. We're going to have to drop the early heal or a freeze. He decides to go with the freeze instead. Gets the scatter shot. And that saves the queen ability. So actually a multi-purpose freeze right there. Pops a warden ability as we make our way into this town hall chamber. We still got two heals. This is looking good. Queen can beat through the wall. Get some more value. Come on, start healing. There we go. First heal on the board as we make our way over to the row of champion. Hogs from the siege barracks are actually going to come take out the multi in the core. How perfect is that? One more heal that we can use for all the troops at 3 o'clock. Boom. Gaku. The hybrid god, there's no way this doesn't triple. A minute on the clock, RC ability still intact. Queen still looking strong on the left side of the base. King and Pecker and 93 and a half wizards doing cleanup on the outside of the base to make sure this doesn't time fail. There's a clan castle in the core that he missed, but it doesn't matter. He's got like 10 years to do cleanup. There's so much time left because he started the hybrid super duper early and it's another Clan Clash Triple from Queen Walkers, and we're tied again. Six to six. Oof, this is going to be a good match. Jason with the next attack of the war for RTK coming in on Gaku's base with the Queen Charge Hybrid of their own. And let's see if they can continue the triple streak and put another three stars up on the board. Early Yeti to funnel the top side. Queen's going in at 11 o'clock with a little bit of funnel action at 1030. Here we go with the wall break in action to get Queen into this multi-target Inferno Tower. Perfectly done with the wall breaker so far. It actually busted open the junction, so Queen technically has access to that Town Hall compartment. We'll have to wait and see which way she paths though. Nice little headhunter to help deal with that Queen. We get a partial CC pool because of that. Some archers and goblins. I'm guessing some super minions in there as well. Queen's taking a lot of damage right now. Pops the ability early. Ooh, I don't know if I like that. Double poison right there. Gonna have to rage again. We only have one freeze left and the eagles awake and targets healers. <sighs> this could spell trouble for RTK. Those healers taking a lot of damage. They're on one HP, one red bomb. Could end this man's whole career. King and siege barracks at nine o'clock. Miners going into the town hall. Where's the red bomb? Ooh, where's the red bomb for the healers? Tornado trap at nine o'clock. Queen takes out the eagle. Yes, she does. There's the red bomb. Ooh. Lex Toast called it early. Rip. Goodbye, healers. At least Queen got the eagle. We pop the warden ability super early before the town hall is even activated. All the hogs get out in front. The town hall gigabomb is about to do a lot of damage. Boom. Actually, the miners all get underground just in time. That's nice. We heal the hybrid on the bottom side. We got nothing going to the core just yet. Hogs from the Siege Barracks help catch up. One more heal in the core. No queen alive. No healers alive. Can it still triple? Hybrid is LOL, so you never know. The heal just barely didn't reach the hogs as they hit a giant bomb going into the top side of the base. RC, multi, and expo kill everything on the top side. RRC pops her ability. Just barely is going to get through the scatter. Yes, ma'am, she does. She can take care of those skellies as well. But with just the king, 72,000 barbarians and a couple of miners alive. I think we're looking at the first defense of the war, and it's a defense for Queen Walkers. Ooh, this might just give them a, the advantage here in match number one. The one defense that they might need to win the war here. With $500 on the line, guys, the pressure is immense for these attackers. He's going to be able to get through the multi here on the top side of the base, but not going to get past the 90% mark. In fact, we're going to fall short. At just about 85% here. Boom, right there. Nice try to Jason, but it's not going to work out on this one. Stars is in with the third attack for Queen Walkers. Coming in with a Lalo. Ooh, a Blizzard Lalo. Okay, let's see what he's got for us here on Tiki's base. Coming in with a couple of loons at 4 o'clock with a giant. Is this just to pull the CC? He's not dropping the blimp yet. Looks like he just wants to pull the CC troops. The balloon death damage almost kills one of the headhunters, that's OP. 
Now he sends the blimp early. Oh, two seeking air mines. <gasps> Did stars just get baited? No. He definitely wanted the blimp to make it into this queen compartment and it didn't. Wow. Tiki with the OP bait. He doesn't get the eagle. I, I'm pretty sure. Ooh, and the late invisibility. Rip queen walkers. Yikes. Uh-oh, can he recover? Can he recover, guys, is the question. Let's see, he's gonna pull the headhunters and the hound over to six o'clock. Still has one more invisibility spell. Baby dragon to take out these headhunters. Queen in with them. What's he gonna do? What's he gonna do? Poison spell right there to help deal with the lava pups. Okay, okay. What's next? King on the bottom side. I think he wants King to go take out the town hall. Yeah, he definitely does. King is supposed to solo the town hall here. Ice Golem in front of the queen. Okay. She might be able to take out the Inferno if she paths correctly. What is that wall breaker? That wall breaker was way too late if he wanted it to get queen into the Inferno compartment. King goes the wrong way. Oh. Stars is throwing today. You don't see this too often. He doesn't funnel king properly king's not gonna get the town hall like he's supposed to rc on the bottom side has to pop her ability here we're in big trouble we are in big trouble he's gonna drop the invisibility which will allow rc oh and then the king comes back <gasps> wow how crazy is that oh, oh! <laughs> king didn't get the town hall and then rc finished it off wow lalo from the left side early as heck warden ability he just spammed like 82 loons in one tile Bro, is he freaking out or what's going on? Finds a tornado trap in the core. We still got five more spells for this Lalo. I swear, dude, if this triples, it's stars. So it probably is going to triple. Hang on. Keep using all these spells early. Oh my gosh. No way, dude. 30 seconds on the clock. Last haste going in. We got one more freeze. The RC is still alive. All the defenses are dead. How does he do it? No! Sneaky Goblin on the top side. 20 seconds to go. He can freeze the RC to help the loons kill it. No. 97% guys. Freeze the RC. Freeze the RC. Oh! 99! No. It's a triple! <laughs> oh, stars! Bro, what the heck did we just see? He got baited hard. Harder than hard, okay? Way harder than he wanted to get baited. And he tripled. Ugh, RTK is in with the next attack. And let's see. They have to keep tripling if they want a chance to stay in this war. They have to triple Uta-14's base. And let's see what they can do here. With the Sui... It's a Zap Lalo with Skeleton Spell. Hmm. We're going to zap the core scattershot here. Nice earthquake there. Gets everything in the core. Looking good so far. Couple balloons over here at 5 o'clock to funnel the cannon. Yeti in as well. Alright, alright, alright. Wall breaker at 3 o'clock just to bust open the corner a little more. Make it easier to get the king and queen into the town hall it looks like. More balloons to funnel the cannon. <clears throat> okay. Is king gonna go get the town hall by himself? Not sure yet. Yeti might almost get the wizard tower. Not quite, though. He's not dropping the queen. Okay, now he drops the queen. Not sure why he delayed her so much. One more balloon to get the cannon. And the Sui will definitely be able to get the town hall. Going to be interesting to see what's in the clan castle here in a second. Queen takes out the bomb tower. We pull a skeleton trap. Here come the CC troops. Looks like it's going to be a super minion CC. Tons of goblins and mass headhunter. No super minions on this one. Just a ton of headhunters. That king's going to get absolutely melted. Boom. His face gets ripped off. Queen can deal with all these headhunters. If they get a shot off. Ooh, they don't. It would have had a slow effect on the queen, but they don't get a shot off. We start the Lalo from the bottom side. Stone Slammer in to help deal with the scatter shot and the RC. We pop that queen ability. She finds another skelly trap. We got a couple loons going for this Inferno Tower. Eagle artillery is activated, but we should be taking that out relatively quickly. He has four headhunters, but he's not dropping any of them just yet. 
I think he wants the Stone Slammer to help kill this RC. He did drop two Headhunters straight into a ground expo like a god. And they got absolutely wrecked. <clears throat> Warden trying his best to keep up. RC on the bottom side. We gotta do something to kill her. Just pop the Stone Slammer, sir. Nope, instead he's gonna send a third Headhunter to take her out. Okay, we only got one Headhunter for the Queen now. Gotta use it perfectly. RC at 9 o'clock straight into a single target in front of Tower because that's where she gets her best value. We need to drop a skelly spell for the queen. Ooh, pop the warden ability. Pop the warden ability for the skellies. Yes! Nice warden ability right there. It's still going to work. He's got two freezes. You can freeze the wizard tower and the inferno tower. Nice freeze right there. More loons on the outside. One more loon for the back end archer tower. One more freeze to go. I think he gets it. I think he gets it. That was a sketchy Lalo. Honestly, a couple of weird things going on there, but he still has plenty of loons up. Warden's still alive. The last couple of freezes came in clutch. The dragon from the stone slammer killed the enemy queen. Plenty of time on the clock to grab the last three buildings and boom. There's another triple for RTK guys. They are three for four. All they need is one defense and they can still win this war guys. It is still anybody's match. Klaus is in guys. He's not going last like he normally does. He's going fourth. Let's see what he's bringing. Looks like a Sui Lalo with six archers, a Valkyrie, a jump spell, two skeleton spells, and a lightning. All right, all right. What you got for us? Sneaky Goblin at two o'clock and at 12 o'clock. Some archers up at 12. King straight on the bomb tower. He's going to take a lot of damage from that. Queen on the outside. Drop in the Skelly spell just to distract the single target Inferno and the Queen, it looks like, so we can get this RC in for the Eagle. Another Skelly spell to help distract even more defenses. King can pop his ability. Headhunter to support. We're going to kill that Queen super early. Wall Wrecker going in for the core. Jump spell for the Queen. Huh? What the heck is going on, Klaus? RC grabs these buildings. We're pulling partial pull on the CC. Queen takes the jump. She's going to pop her ability. Get the Royal Champion. Get the Scatter Shot. Wall Wrecker is going to make it all the way to the core. And the King is still alive, dude. We're pulling CC troops. What's in our Wall Wrecker? It's going to take out the Scatter Shot in the core, which is actually OP. I think that's the main goal of this Wall Wrecker. Is to take out the Scatter Shot. Maybe the CC troops as well. What's in this Wall Wrecker? Dude, the Wall Wrecker is still on like half HP. I swear, if this Wall Wrecker makes it all the way to the Town Hall, it doesn't. Okay, but we got Yetis in there. They're not even going to wake up the Town Hall. Whew, okay. Imagine if he had like a wall breaker and sneaky goblins in the town hall. Oh, that would make for the best attack ever. We're starting the Lalo on the bottom side of the base. Early poison spell for something. He found the Tesla farm already. We're going to freeze the town hall. Haste up into the town hall compartment here. One more freeze for the town hall there. Another haste to get us into the town hall. Guys, he's got like 80,000 loons still alive. This is looking pretty decent. He still has a lightning spell. With, I guess that was just for headhunters in case they were in the CC. But the wall wrecker killed the headhunters. He's got spells for days. Can swag two of them. This man is on a whole nother level. He just absolutely smashed his base. There's like a minute for cleanup, guys. He doesn't even need the last two spells. He probably didn't even need half those spells at all. Pulls the hound with the Valkyrie on cleanup. Loons doing cleanup all over the place. It's crushed. And queen walkers are going to be four for four after this attack guys they are just on fire rtk have to get another triple just to stay in the match guys imagine if in his wall wrecker he actually had a super wall breaker and like 10 sneaky goblins that would have been amazing last attack for rtk coming in with the queen charge hybrid let's see what they're bringing I just said, let's see what they're bringing after I said what the attack is. LOL. It's too early in the morning for me, guys. Too early in the morning. We got our coffee, but... Lex Toast still isn't awake. Queen Charge going to be going in straight for this town hall here. Are we going to have to invest a rage super early? We are. Wow. At least Queen can fight the CC with the help of that rage. Ooh, this timing. Is she in range of the RC or no? No, I don't think so. That's nice. Perfect poison spell for the Headhunters. Queen can deal with the Lava Hound now before the Town Hall activates, which definitely helps out a ton. You can take out all these Lava Pups, then she'll fight the Town Hall and the Royal Champion. And where are we going to send the Hybrid from? From the top or the bottom? What do you guys think is the better side? Not sure yet. 
He's gonna rage up the town, the queen for the town hall. Here we go. She's gonna continue making her way up closer to the top side of the base. She'll be able to fight the enemy king. She's gonna skip the RC. Okay, that's interesting. Very interesting. Nice headhunter there to help queen stay topped off on HP. And we are going to hybrid from the top side of the base. There we go to force queen closer to that core. That's the main goal here. Probably gonna have to go in with an early heal for the scattershot bomb tower. We do still have one more wall breaker. And if he places it perfectly, we should be able to get Queen to the core. There goes the first heal. Nicely done. We get through the Scattershot. King on the outside. Queen. And look at that wall breaker. Going to give Queen access to the next set of buildings there in the core. We pop the Warden ability as the Hybrid makes their way into the core. And we fight the enemy Queen. That's looking good. Our Queen takes out the Royal Champion. Unfortunately, we got a little bit of a Miner split. We're going to lose like eight or Miners over here. Except the Healers switch to the Miners. Ooh, and we freeze. Heal spill and rage for the hybrid over here on the left side. Oh, this is crushed. He still has another freeze and the RC ability. Dude, this base is about to get wiped. Queen goes on the outside. Hybrid making their way through the core. This is a triple all day long from RTK. Mr. Squiggly Pants is on fire. Nice attack right here. He's going to be able to swag that freeze, swag the queen ability, swag the RC ability, and still a triple with like 36 seconds to spare beautiful attack from rtk and now let's see they finish with 14 stars guys their only fail was 85 percent so the entire match comes down to yuda 14 he needs 86 percent or better for the win in match number one yuda 14 with the last attack of match number one guys he has to get 86 percent or better to win the war here. Let's see if he can do it. <clears throat> Coming in with the Queen Charge Lalo. With an invisibility spell. Hmm. Queen starting at 9 o'clock. Okay, okay. What's next? Queen's going to walk down or up? I think she's going to go down. Yep, that's why he used the Coco Loon on the bottom side. Drops the healers directly into a Tesla. Is that going to cost him a healer? Queen's going to take out the Tesla, but one healer already lost half HP, which is not ideal. Two minutes and 30 left on the clock. He started, or he used quite a bit of time here just to start the charge. King on the outside to funnel, maybe. Yep, Giant and King to help take out this RC fast. Make the funnel so Queen can go in. Looks like he's going to try to charge the Town Hall here. One more Coco Loon going in. Boom, King's going to make the funnel on the bottom side. We're going to have to rage up this Queen pretty soon. Finds a tornado trap there with an early wall breaker. That definitely helps out. First rage down for the queen. CC troops are getting pulled. Classic two headhunter. Lava Hound CC. Coco Loon finds a, a seeking air mine. We're going to drop the RC with the king to help finish off the funnel. Wall break into the core. Oh my gosh. Look how much stuff the queen has access to, guys. She can literally charge the entire base. Queen can take out the scatter shot. And the Town Hall. She's going to go for the Town Hall first, which means there's going to be a lot of damage on the Queen right here for a few seconds. RC popped her ability. Eagle Artillery is activated. Down goes the Town Hall. Down goes the Scatter. We start with the Stone Slammer on the Eagle. Queen, if we keep her alive, she will literally get the entire base. This is going to be beautiful. Eagle's about to drop, so we don't have to worry about that anymore. Queen finds, finds a Skelly Trap. We start the Lalo nice and early from this top left side of the base. Uh, drops a few loons right there to grab the Tesla. Queen's not going to the multi just yet. We need her to go get that multi. That would help out a ton. Might be worth it to go with the early warden ability. Nope. Instead, we're going to go with the freeze to save these loons and save the warden ability for later when we're going to fight this queen and scattershot at the same time. Oh my gosh. This is going to be beautiful. This is going to be so beautiful. I'm pretty sure the base is wrecked. We still have the warden ability. We're going to rage everybody up. Pop the warden ability. Oh, we even got the queen charge in the warden ability, guys. 45 seconds left on the clock. We got a haste. We got an invisibility spell, loons all over the place, dragon that we don't even need. He drops the haste just to help. We can swag the invisibility spell, wall breaker on the outside, two sneaky goblins to help with clean up. 30 seconds to get the last 10 trash buildings. My god, the perfect war from Queen Walkers, guys. 15 stars on three attacks against RTK. What an amazing match. And Queen Walkers are gonna be winning match number one over rtk 15 stars to 14.